Do you know how many witches the Inquisition burned? I'll tell you, none. It wasn't witches who burned, it was women. Beautiful, cultured, and smart women. Women accused of having water in the well or for cultivating and caring for their beautiful plantation. They were convicted of having a birthmark, being skilled in herbal medicine, being tall, black, or redheaded. They condemned those who showed a strong connection to nature, those who danced or sang, to those who looked happy, and to those who looked independent and powerful. For the Holy Inquisition and many other groups throughout history, every free-spirited woman should have been burned or thrown into the water. If it floated, it was guilty and executed. If she was sinking and drowning, she was found innocent and her soul would go to heaven. Many thousands of women were thrown off of cliffs or placed into deep holes in the ground by beings who felt superior to them, almost like gods. Why do I even talk of this? Because knowing history is important when it comes to building a new society and a new world. It is urgent to give a voice to all women in honor of those who were humiliated, beaten, tortured, and slaughtered. Long live independent, strong, and powerful women. It wasn't witches who were burned. It was women.